I've got an AS7300. <laughs> by Ivan Ez here, and uh, this guitar, I'm impressed with. Being a blues guy, and people go, oh, how come he thinks he's a blues guy? What is he talking about? He's a blues guy. I, I toured in blues bands, earning a living playing the blues, so I guess I could call myself a blues guy. Sorry. Anyway, so... Uh, being a guy that's played in bands and played blues, I could work with a guitar like this. This is very, very uh, similar to a Gibson 335, which is a standard blues you know, instrument for people who like that sort of thing. These pickups sound good. You don't have to spend a lot of money on the blues. I don't know if you ever look at uh, old blues clips or watch and study some of the old blues musicians, but a lot of those guys played, you know, inexpensive instruments, harmonies and stuff. And that lent itself to the character and the sound that they got. Not that this is, uh, you know, that low a quality. This is actually very good quality, but it, it'd be good for the blues, I'll tell you. set up very well. Set up being the action. I mean, we, uh, you know, we broke these things out of, you know, boxes and checked them out or had friends bring them in, loan us guitars, just so we could do these reviews, whatever. But uh, all guitars, I don't care if they're cheap or expensive, they need to be set up by, uh, you know, experts that know how to adjust these uh, bridges and uh, set the action on the nut. You know, they need special files for that that are all different gauge. This guitar has pin striping around it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little grayish white, you know, pin stripe that goes around the uh, guitar to look like binding. I don't know if there's binding on there or not. It looks like there may be underneath that finish, but that, that's what it's meant to uh, simulate to make it look like binding. That's kind of a cool, like, uh, you know, like barroom uh, artwork. Uh, old, you know, uh, pinstriping on a race car or something. Uh, art core. I'd like to be a member of the true art core of Ibanez. All right. So it's got a, a, a bridge that's stylized after the Gibson Nashville style bridge. Gives you a, plenty of uh, area to uh, make adjustments for harmonics. It's got a three-way switch so you can adjust the uh, volume of the uh, front pickup. Put the switch on the back, you can adjust the volume of the back pickup here. In the middle position, you'd have both pickups working. It's got FO, so this would be a semi-acoustic or thin line guitar. You know, it gives you a bit of a hollow sound. And I think these are about 350 bucks, and that's not a lot of money on a semi-acoustic style guitar. Let me tell you, that's cheap, and uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, that's not a major investment, but you're getting a guitar that you could actually really get a good blues sound out of. It's probably a 
probably good for a little fusion. Uh, even though uh, most people nowadays use a solid guitar for fusion to avoid, you know, feedback. But this uh, this is a semi-acoustic guitar. Thin jazz chords I put heavier strings on so I'm always torn between having a light set of strings on a guitar like this for blues and then a heavier set of strings for doing chord work but, uh, anyway for uh, the money this is a really nice instrument uh, I don't think you can go wrong with this for that price